Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. And today's RoboBite, I wanna to talk to you about Tetrix Max servos. Now, uh, our servos come in two different flavors. We have our regular standard servo, and we have a CR type servo. They are part of the motion category of the Tetrix ecosystem. They're again designed specifically to provide motion. That's the common use and there's really not a lot of, uh, a lot of other uncommon uses there. They're designed to again provide motion. They are again two different types. A standard servo is going to provide a specific positional range of motion for about a zero to 180 degrees. These particular ones we have, I have carbonite gears, very strong. And again, because of the form factor is common between the standard and the uh, CR servo, we have multiple mounting options, which I'll show you in a minute. The CR servo is a little bit different in the fact that it is uh, designed to give you ro a full 360 degree rotation in either a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. It's proportional in speed, so it's designed more like a motor in the way it would be used to provide continuous rotation in one direction or the other. It has a, a fairly wide uh, dead band in the middle, so it's a little bit easier to program and use in that respect. And again, like the, uh, C, uh, the standard servo, because it has a very common form factor with our typical standard servo, it has multiple mounting options, and I'll show you some of those now. We have our original mounting option. This is the original servo bracket that we created with our Tetrix Max, and it's designed to house the servo and hold it securely, mount it on a channel, and then you have access to the servo horn, which each servo does come with a aluminum horn that is gonna allow for a little bit more robust use. So that's our original mounting bracket. But we've uh, supplemented that with several different types now where we have a front mounting bracket. So this would be uh, designed to attach to the face of a channel and potentially allow you to support a shaft through the channel on the face. Or the latest version is this particular option, again, with uh, specific 32 millimeter standoffs that would hold that off of the channel and allow you to mount a shaft and support that through the channel which is going to lead us to our troubleshooting tips. One of the things that you really have to watch with uh, the uh, servos is side load. This particular application where I'm mounting it through the channel is designed specifically to remove side load. Side load not only could uh, break the horn off of your uh, servo, but also is gonna reduce the efficiency of your uh, servo when it has to deal with side load in addition to the rotational torque. So that's one of the reasons why you potentially might want to use a mount like this instead of our original mount. So those are some of the things to think about uh, from a, a troubleshooting aspect. For additional specs, all the things that you need to know about the servo, please remember to go to pitsco.com and at the bottom of every product page, you'll find things like spec files, CAD files, everything you need to know about that specific uh, product would be at the, available at the bottom of the page. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots and come back and see us.